In this video, we will learn how to complete the Form CS on MyTax Portal. To begin filing your company's corporate income tax return, log in to MyTax Portal using this link. Then, select Company slash Business Tax. Next, log in with your SingPass account to proceed. You may either log in by scanning the QR code with your SingPass mobile app or entering your SingPass ID, password, and a one-time SMS sent to your mobile number. If you are authorized to act on behalf of more than one entity, select the entity which you wish to act on behalf on. For SingPass foreign users, enter the tax reference number assigned to you by the IRAS. Once you have logged in to My Tax Portal, select Corporate Tax from the top menu, followed by the option File Form CS-C. You will see a summary of your company's tax filing status for the different years of assessment. You can view the current progress of your tax filing, whether the form has not been completed yet, a draft is still in progress, or that the form has been submitted but is pending for approval. Click on e-file to begin filing. You will be prompted to verify your company's functional currency and contact information. Do check that the information is correct before continuing. Make any changes if required and click Save. You will see the acknowledgement page upon successful submission. Next, click on Proceed to e-file. You will be brought to the Form Type Selection page. Before choosing to file the Form CS, you are required to input the revenue in the box. If your company's revenue is less than $200,000, you are given the option to file Form CS Lite, which is a simplified version of Form CS. If your company is eligible to file Form CS Lite, you are encouraged to do so. It contains fewer fields, making it more straightforward and efficient to complete your tax filing. For this video guide, we will focus on filing Form CS. First, declare if the company meets the qualifying conditions to file Form CS. Next, if the tax return has been reviewed by a person who is an SCTP accredited tax advisor or an accredited tax practitioner for income tax, you are required to indicate yes and fill in the particulars of the person. If multiple accredited reviewers are involved, only indicate the details of any one reviewer. Once done, you may either choose to proceed to Part B, save a draft, or cancel the filing. In Part B, you are required to enter the amounts for the tax adjustment items. The tax adjustment items are pre-filled with zero, so enter the correct amount if required. Some items will be computed automatically, so there is no need for manual keying. If you are unsure of what to fill into each box, you may click on the I Help button for more information. The unutilized capital allowance and unutilized losses are pre-filled based on information available with the IRAS. However, if the pre-filled amounts differ from the company's record, you may choose to revise the amounts in the corresponding declaration boxes as shown. Likewise, the unutilized donations and current year donations are also pre-filled based on information with the IRAS, so declare any required amendments if needed. Do remember to fill in all mandatory fields, as indicated by the red asterisk. Once done, you may choose to proceed to Part C, save a draft, or return back to Part A. In Part C, please fill in the boxes that are applicable to you. Do note that the revenue amount is pre-filled based on the amount entered at the Form Type Selection page. If you have previously entered the wrong revenue amount, you may amend it in the box shown. Indicate any changes in the principal activities of the company as well as any substantial changes in shareholders. For newly incorporated companies that qualify for the tax exemption scheme for new startup companies, 
please remember to indicate yes. As previously stated, do remember to fill in all mandatory fields, as indicated by the red asterisks. Once done, you may choose to proceed to the confirmation page, save a draft, or return back to Part B. At the confirmation page, verify that the information you have entered is correct. You may save a copy of the confirmation page by clicking on the Save as PDF icon. Based on the declaration made in this return, this is your company's estimated tax payable. After confirming the details, complete the declaration as well as the filer and contact person section. Click on Submit if you are authorized as Approver. If you are authorized as Preparer, you will see the Submit to Approval button instead. This submission is pending submission to the IRAS by the Approver. Click on Yes in the pop-up message box to confirm your submission to the IRAS or Approver. Upon successful submission, you will receive an acknowledgement number. You may save a copy of the acknowledgement page by clicking on the Save as PDF icon. You are not required to submit the acknowledgement page to the IRAS. You've now successfully filed your company's Form CS. You may visit the IRAS website for more information.